Hi everyone, I'm Whitney from WhitneySews.com and today I'm here with Skylar because she's feeling a little bit under the weather and didn't want to take her nap so I just wrapped her up and uh, yeah, that got her to go to sleep. She felt comfortable and everything so she's joining us for the video today. And today's actually kind of a fun video because it's part one of a two-part series about my labyrinth cosplay. And there's actually a um, convention that I go to. This is the second time that I've been to the convention. But my husband volunteers for it in the photography department, so he's gone for several years. Um, but about two weeks before the convention, I decided that I wanted to make a cosplay. Yep, good timing, right? I have a newborn and a toddler, so um, I'm lucky if I get time to sew at all, let alone tackle a cosplay in less than two weeks. But um, I decided that it might be possible if I did sort of a like thrifted transformation. So the cosplay that I wanted to do was from the movie Labyrinth. Um, it's a big anniversary for Labyrinth this year. It's the 30 year anniversary. And um, every time we watch the movie, Peyton looks at the screen whenever Sarah, the main character, is on. And uh, she says, Mama, Mama. She thinks I look like Sarah. Or that I am Sarah. I'm not sure. Um... But so I thought that'd be a fun cosplay to do and also to dress Peyton up as Toby from the movie because she has some striped pajamas like Toby's. Um, so I just thought that'd be f something fun to do for me and Peyton. So my plan was to try to find a tacky, super tacky 80s wedding dress at the thrift store and just tweak it a little bit to where it fit the dress that Sarah wears at the big um, ball scene. And so I went to the thrift store on half price day because my goal was to not spend more than like $15, $20 for the whole thing. So I went to the store on half price day and um, didn't find anything even close to what I wanted. Um, so I had to make a whole new plan while I was at the thrift store and um, ended up buying several different things to all put them all together to create the cosplay and it actually worked out really well um, but yeah it was not what I had originally planned on um, but anyway so in this video here in just a second I will have the haul video that I filmed the day I went shopping so I show everything that I got and then um, kinda talk about what my plans for them are and then in part two of the series, I will show the finished costume photos and some progress photos while I explain um, kind of how I went about putting the entire cosplay together. And yeah, it was a lot of fun. And I hope you will subscribe and make sure to come back for that second video. But without further ado, let's get right into the haul video of all the supplies I picked up for this cosplay. The first thing I found was marked three dollars so I got it for a dollar fifty and it's this like sheer kind of overlay I don't know if it was supposed to actually be worn out or if it's some sort of weird like nightgown I'm not sure but the reason I got it is because of the sleeves it has these billowy sleeves they are see-through and I don't want them to be see-through and I want them to hold their shape so I'm going to um, attempt to make a narrow inner sleeve and um, then stuff in between the two sleeves so it holds a shape. The next thing I found is something that I may or may not actually use for this costume because I already have something like this. It is a wedding petticoat. It is um, floor length and I already have one that is a drawstring around the waist and that's the one I'll probably actually use because this one is a fitted waist and it's size 6 and I am definitely not a size 6 right now um, but I did go ahead and get this one because I went to the store also wanting to get a wedding petticoat because I want to do a different project so I think I will save this one for the other project I'm going to use and for this costume use the wedding petticoat that's already in my closet but I did want to show this since um, this is an item, a similar item to what I'll be using. This was marked $7, so I got it for $3.50. I also found a vintage tablecloth. It is labeled 1992, so technically it is vintage. 
and it was marked four dollars so I got it for two dollars and it's this really pretty um tone on tone damask it's like slightly shimmery it's really nice it's a lot of yardage um unfortunately it has some stains on it um so I am going to oxyclean this and see if the stains come out. If they don't, I'll either try to work around them or just make sure they are placed on the back side um, because I'm planning on using this to create a overlay skirt um, to go over the petticoat. The final thing that I got, because um, I searched and searched and searched, I will link below to a picture of the costume I'm trying to create. Um, it is very elaborate, it has a lot of bedazzling and things, and so I was trying to find a kind of a fake corset bustier top um, that I could put lots of sequins and beads and glitter and all that stuff on. Um, I couldn't find anything, and then I got the idea to go look in the dress section, and I found a David's Bridal bridesmaid dress that has all this lovely beading and stuff already on it, it is a size 16 and I was baby wearing at the thrift store so I couldn't try it on. I couldn't even like hold it up and see if it was close. But I'm going to also wash this probably by itself because I don't want the beads to snag anything else in the washer. Um, but what I'm going to do is <clears throat> I will probably unstitch this faux belt here because I need a, <clears throat> excuse me, because the bustier top that she's wearing um, is strapless like this, but then it comes down to kind of a V shape, and this obviously doesn't, so I'm probably going to try to take this faux belt area off, and then use fabric from the skirt to sew on here, and then just kind of cut it into the right shape, and um, go with that, because like I said, short on time and everything so doing a lot of shortcuts um but this was marked seven dollars so i got it for 350 so right now we're at 1050 for the total on all of the costume pieces and that's awesome because i had told jeremiah about ten dollars was all i wanted to spend um to find a dress so 1050 to get all the parts to make a dress is pretty good and then i also got a few other things and um, because Sarah the girl in the movie wears some necklaces and then she also has a lot of things in her hair and I have not figured out yet how I'm gonna do her hair because it's large she has a lot of volume um, it's a very similar color to mine but I do not have volume but anyway um, so I needed some beads and things for the necklace and for in her hair so I got a strand of faux pearls for 50 cents. I got this one which is um, faux pearls as well but they're all linked together separately so um, I thought this was really pretty just in general and I got it for 50 cents. And then this one is two strands that are mostly chain and then they have these little like crystal circle sections on it. So also really pretty and I got this for a dollar. So that is everything that I got. I'm going to get to work on washing it all and trying it on, seeing how it all fits and what um, alterations and things need to be made so I can make this cosplay happen. So make sure you stay tuned for part two of this so you can see how it all turns out. And I will see you all again soon. Bye.